Florida A&M University welcomed the U.S. Department of Education and members of the Thurgood Marshall College Fund to campus. Both groups were instrumental in helping to secure funding for student housing, specifically the newly acquired apartments Rattler Point West and Rattler Point East. We are just so honored and so proud that FAMU was strategic with this intent to make the HERF funding a sustainability capacity building investment. So I applaud you and your staff and your team for all of the work you continue to do. This fall, the university will have over 2,000 on-campus beds available for students. Due to skyrocketing rents for off-campus apartments, the housing director says more upperclassmen want to stay on campus. Acquiring the two properties was designed to address that demand. 234 uh, students will be able to live here, which is a, a significant addition to our current stock. So we're looking forward to opening this in the fall of 2023. Um, it was a godsend for us. The location in terms of this property can't get any better because FAMU is right there, right? <laughs> FAMU is right there. So for upperclassmen who are going to have the privilege really of staying here, uh, they can have um, a better place to be than at this site. So. The unveiling was held the same day as the School of Nursing held a ribbon cutting for its new simulation lab. Dean Shelley Johnson said the sim lab is vital for the training of student nurses students. at FAMU. So this will allow our students to be able to practice in a safe space where they can gain confidence and the skills they need. FAMU School of Nursing is the oldest continuing baccalaureate nursing program in the state of Florida and the oldest continuing baccalaureate nursing program in the United States at a historically black institution. For Florida A&M University, I'm Giovanni Hampton.